All right, what's going on? Hunter has came up with a list of, it's probably from some comments and stuff. That was from Hunter? No, it's not. It's from a trend. A trend. Yeah. So Hunter has came up with a bunch of rapid fire questions that I'm going to have to answer right here. And I'm not, haven't seen any of them. Don't even know the context or what it's involving, or I guess it's going to be fishing related. It should be, but I guess we're just going to be firing away at some questions for a little while. What are you doing? Putting line on. Putting sunline 25 pound test on a flipping rod. What do you find yourself doing most days? Fishing. What is your current obsession? Uh, jigs, probably. Can you make a prediction about anything exactly one year from now? Mm, we'll probably be at a tournament somewhere on the Elite Series one year from today. Besides making videos and fishing, what do you do on your off days? Since we joined the Elites, uh, it's been such a kind of a really full time deal. We haven't had a lot of off days, but uh, probably still like to play a little poker sometimes. What is your favorite place to visit in the United States? Favorite place to visit in the United States? Uh, it changes based on the weather. But I'd probably say, I don't really know. Vegas, maybe? Vegas is, Vegas is one of the coolest places. When you're, when you're pulling up to Vegas or flying into Vegas, it's just a different feeling than most places. What specific thing do you love most about Alabama? Um, the weather. It gets, uh, it gets cold where you have some good seasons, you know, the fish getting a lot of different moods, a lot of different modes throughout the year, but it's not cold enough where, you know, a couple months are miserable. So, I really like the weather. What is one thing you could never live without? Mmm. Fish related? I don't matter. Oxygen? That would, that would be a little foul answer. <laughs> Definitely can't live without oxygen. What is a hobby that you would love to pick up? Um, I've always wanted to kind of golf. Don't know why. Just always wanted to. Never did it. What is something that you would like to say to all your YouTube subscribers? Thank y'all. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's made everything go really fast. You know, the sponsors really appreciate the YouTube channel and the good engagement and the positivity and how many people watch it all the time. And that's just... I really am. Like I, I'm grateful to the people that watch the YouTube channel. Like seriously. Describe yourself in three words. Mm. Obsessive. Analytical. And that's about it. Maybe we only got two words. Two words. Two words. What is your biggest pet peeve? When people act like stuff's easy. Nothing's easy. Nothing is easy to get good at it. Nothing's easy to get to the top level of anything. I don't care what it is. It's very difficult. It takes a lot of work, a lot of outside the box thinking to get good or be almost anything. Just period. Nothing's nothing's easy. And people think stuff's easy. What scares you the most? I don't really have a lot of fears. Maybe making bad decisions. I hate, I hate whenever I make a bad decision. That's what I get beat up on. I beat myself up about the most. It's not just in fishing. In general, bad stuff happens to everybody a lot. I just hate when I personally make a bad decision. What makes you the angriest? Uh, I don't get angry that often. He's going to say, honey. But I get frustrated. I get frustrated when multiple things just keep going wrong, keep going wrong, and then you make a good adjustment or you make a, some something good. You, you make good decisions and then bad stuff just keeps happening, which is, it happens in life, you know? So I'd say I get frustrated. I don't really get that angry. Who is the best fisherman you know? Mmm. Probably Hunter. Me? Yeah, your cast, your catch to cast count ratio is, I mean, unrivaled. Yeah, that's because I only stand up whenever... It's a good spot. Yeah. yeah, Hunter. Hunter lets me fish through the through the lulls. 
And then when she stands up, she usually catches one. So her cast count, two bite count, very high, very desirable. I hope my cast count is like to a bite count is even close to that tomorrow. What's a fishing technique that never lets you down? Flipping. Flipping's it. Flipping does it. Which fishing technique do you like the best? Frog fishing. Top water, skipping it. That and swim jig fishing for sure. What song gets you most hyped for fishing tournaments? Uh, I don't really... I don't know. It's just kind of like a... I don't really, I don't really try to get too hyped. I try to get like some more mellow, like vibe and good music on the way to the ramp. I don't want to get like super jacked up. I just want to be like good, flowing, vibing stuff. So I like. What is your spirit animal? My spirit animal. Uh, -huh. uh it's got to be something that flies. Maybe like a a hawk or an owl or an eagle or something. Something that's super free, like super freedom. Kind of does whatever it wants to do, and still kind of a boss, you know. What's your favorite candy? Favorite candy is probably those uh, trolley sour cr crunchy gummy worms, I guess. What's your favorite thing to eat? Favorite thing to eat has to be ah oh, the best thing to eat. Probably hash browns from Waffle House, like the bit like just like the best tasting thing. Them things are good. What's your least favorite thing to eat? Tomatoes. Easy. Tomatoes. What's a dessert that you couldn't live without? I can live without any dessert. I'd say my favorite is probably cheesecake though. But I can live without any of it. What's your first memory of life? Okay. I don't even know. I can't, I, I have no idea. Sometimes you'll, you'll see stuff. No, okay. there's a phone. Sometimes you'll see stuff that triggers like a memory, but I can't. I don't really have a earliest memory, honestly. Who do you look up to most of my Uh, do I have to know him? No. Probably somebody like, and I'm not saying he's right about everything, but somebody like Elon Musk who has continually kind of went against the grain and made stuff and been super successful over and over and over. And everything he's done, all the businesses he started, all that stuff has kind of fought for his beliefs. Like whenever he first started uh, PayPal or well, whatever he first started, it was kind of to go against like the monopolization of banking and then now he started tesla to try to you know do something different and now he's just bought a big stake in twitter because everything's getting super you know so he has just constantly went against the grain and did whatever he wanted to do and been extremely successful with it so definitely him what is the best piece of advice you've ever received one thing that stuck with me is i had a, i had a fisherman tell me one time and i was kind of thinking about running like 40 miles up the river in this tournament and I was like man I don't want to run that far waste all that run time and he was like it's just five fish just go up there pick them up and come back with them and then I just think about that all the time now it's just like all you do is catch five by any means period and it's just kind of the thing in life too it's like whenever you're you're overthinking some kind of decision or something it's like you just do it you just go do it you know like the result is what you're looking for you don't really have to stress that much about, you know, one little decision or something like that. What advice would you give to your 15-year-old self? Keep on keeping on. <laughs> what is something you know now that you didn't know then? I know a lot of stuff now I didn't know then. Uh, you know, just how to progress and improve at stuff. Back then, you, you know, whenever you're younger, you just kind of want stuff like now. You know, like you want to be, you know, like... I want to be a pro fisherman when I was 15, but like you want it now. And then every, everybody, everything, every goal that you have, everybody wants it now. But that's not how it is. It's like small progressions, small improvements. You get better. Like if you can get better like a tenth of a percent a week over the course of a year, you're going to be a whole lot better than you was a year ago. So like if you just continually get a little bit better all the time, you could be, you know, you, that's how you get to be at the top echelon of anything that you're trying to do. So whenever I was 15, I didn't really understand that. I was, you know. Like everybody else, you, you want what you want, and you want it right then. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Probably, hopefully still fishing the elites. A couple extra trophies, though, somewhere. And, you know, just doing what you 
what you want to do, you know, progressing, becoming a better person, becoming a better fisherman, and, you know, improving family life and all that type of stuff. What's the last TV show you binge watched? Dexter, maybe? I think Dexter is the last thing we've been watched. We went back before that new the new season came out. We went back and watched all the other episodes. I've done watched it ten times. We went back and watched it all, and then watched the new season. So I guess it was Dexter back in November or whenever it came out, December. What's a fictional place you would want to live in? A fictional place I'd want to live in. Um, probably wherever they're catching all these fifteen pounders they're catching on that Bassmasters fishing sim game. Because look, everybody that posts a picture is a. 15 to 18 pounder and those tournaments are taking 54 pounds and in the real world it's a grind to catch 20 on some of the best lakes in the country so probably wherever that's at what event do you have the best chance of winning i felt like it was santee and then it didn't set up the way i wanted it to set up exactly and i made some bad decisions so we've already passed that one well, this was I was going to ask this before the season started, mm -hmm. but I'll ask it now. What event do you think you will do the worst in? <laughs> St. John's River. <laughs> It'll be hard to beat, hard to beat that one. What event are you looking forward to the most? Probably I'm not really looking forward to any of them, to be honest with you, to tell you the truth. This is just not a schedule that I liked a lot. None of the tournaments, you know, so Santee was the one that I was looking forward to the most, and uh, the rest of them are hundred percent all going to be extremely grinder tournaments like they're not going to be very much like fun so like just to be honest they're not going to be very much fun so uh, i'm not really looking forward to any of them specifically are you looking forward to getting home and fishing a pot tournament yeah they have more fun doing that at least they're biting you know like we 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 just you know go to a lot of lakes that are a lot of pressure and tough and it's just it's just how it is when you go to these big lakes that have all these big fish you know it gets a lot of fish pressure stuff like that but you know, it's more fun to fish when you're catching. What are you going to do the rest of the day? Finish rigging, button all this stuff up. We've already got gas, boat's ready to roll, so just dial it in.